Hello, I'm Spade. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about KZ maps. KZ maps are these jumping puzzle maps. If you go to your server browser and you know can browse community servers and you set your filters to look for maps that begin with KZ, you'll probably find the server House of Climb, which is where I was doing this. The idea is it's just you know, a place you got to jump from piece to piece to make it to the end of a map. And it's really, I think, a good way to train yourself on things like strafe jumping and, you know, long jumping. I'll let you watch me figure this one out. Spade, this is the hardest part of the map. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Okay, you're going to have to, like, have to, like, waddle, like... Like, you're not, if you go straight, if you just go straight and try to crouch jump it, you'll never make it. You're gonna have to, like, strafe left and right and, like, waddle a little bit. Peace out, home scout. He on the long jump? Yeah. Have I, did I already make that or not? Yeah, you've made it. I've actually made that long jump, just going straight before, like, without yeah, strafing. Really? I'll try. I've only ever done it once, it was like the perfect jump off of it. Like, can you throw it? Some people can do that. I'm getting close. CP menu. Yeah, I'm a little high. It took me a few tries to figure it out. I can't do it, man. This is where that one guy quit. Don't quit on me, Spade. Oh, he did it, yes. So that's basically how these maps work. There's a little menu uh, where you can save your location. You can teleport back to it. Uh, when you miss a jump. So it's it's actually perfectly set up for practicing strafe jumps, long jumps, wiggle jumps, uh, jumping with crouching in different positions, that sort of thing. And yeah, there's a lot of people who are going to jump in here and say, look, but it, their settings are a little bit different. You know, your air strafing is better in this, or they've changed this, or they've changed that. And that's true, but it doesn't mean that the techniques you learn are invalid, kind of like practicing in slow-mo just to figure something out doesn't mean that when you speed it back up, you'll be unable to do it. You, you're starting to learn the technique in a way that, you know, it's got some training wheels on it, which I think is great. So I've played several of these at this point. I've only ever beaten one, uh, which is this one here, the lava thing. If, you, if you've got, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes to do it, you start the timer at the bottom, uh, or maybe it takes, probably takes some people less time than that. But for me, half an hour, 45 minutes. And, uh, you know, you, you just, you work your way up the thing, and when you get to uh, the top of the entire map, there'll be a button you hit to stop the timer, and you get your time. I found it pretty useful. Spade out.